morning children let us now see next about the compounds now take a sugar in a test tube and heat observe what happens and what remains behind now when the sugar is heated we see sugar is heated the sugar melts and it loses water leaving behind a black substance this black substance is carbon now sugar it is a sucrose or the molecule of sugar it is composed of 12 atoms of carbon 12 atoms of hydrogen and 11 atoms of oxygen so sugar it is a compound made from these three elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen so it is a carbohydrate now using tongs hold a magnesium ribbon in a flame and observe what changes took place in the above two experiments now we know that when the magnesium ribbon is ignited light and heat are produced magnesium reacts chemically with oxygen in the air so magnesium plus oxygen it gives you magnesium oxide so magnesium oxide is produced now what does the name carbon dioxide imply how many and which elements is this substance made up of now carbon dioxide it is a compound it is made up of carbon and oxygen one molecule of carbon dioxide contain one atom of the element carbon and two atoms of the element oxygen now the substances which are formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements is a compound now which of these are elements and which of these are compounds now water it is a compound it is made up of two elements hydrogen and oxygen now oxygen it is a element carbon dioxide it is a compound which is made up of carbon and oxygen now what is the smallest particle of the compound called now the smallest particle of the compound is called as molecule so always remember the substance is a compound only if its molecules are made up of atoms of different types so water is a compound one molecule of water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen now the next question is can you tell which elements help combustion now we know that oxygen helps in combustion combustion means burning now does the water help in combustion no now hydrogen it is a combustible substance that is it burns oxygen helps combustion but water is formed by the combination of hydrogen and oxygen is used to extinguish fire so in other so from this what we observe that the property of the compound water it is completely different than the property of the constituent elements hydrogen and oxygen so like an element a compound is also written in a abridged form the molecule of the compound is formed by the chemical combination of atoms of two or more elements therefore the molecular formula is used to represent a compound so this molecular formula of a compound this is the short form of its name written with the help of symbols of the constituent elements and the number of their respective atoms now let us see this one water the constituent elements are oxygen and hydrogen and symbol is here h2o and molecular formula is h2o characteristic is what water it is in the liquid state and it is does not help in combustion now next we will see the mixture now prepare a sharbat sharbat it is made up of water then uh, sugar salt and lemon juice now make a bhel so when you make a bhel we use uh, rice flakes that is murmura chana then groundnut then onion we put chili we put kothimbir this one kothimbir we put coriander kothimbir we put so the mixture it is formed by mixing different elements or compounds now the proportion of the various components in a mixture is not fixed no chemical change takes place during the formation of mixtures and no new substances formed 
Now, next question is what are the mixtures? Can you tell now what are the mixtures used in everyday life? Now, the mixtures used in everyday life are sharpat, then dhel, then soil. Uh, this one, soil is a mixture. Now, all are all these mixtures useful to us? Not all our mixtures are useful. Some are useful. Some may not be useful. So, how we will separate each component of the mixture of semolina, salt and iron filings. Now, semolina means rava. So, and uh, salt and uh, this one, uh, iron filings. So, if you remove a magnet around. So, if you move a magnet. If a magnet is moved through the mixture, all the iron filings will stick to the magnet. Remove them. Add water to the remaining mixture. All salt will dissolve and then filter through the filter paper. Semolina will settle on the filter paper. The filtrate will be the salt water and the salt can be separated by evaporation or distillation. So now you might remember that. Mixing unwanted substance in any food stuff is called as the adulteration or in other words an adulterated food is also a kind of mixture. For example in the above case now in rava if the iron filings are added then that is unwanted. So that mixture is not useful to us. So the iron filings must be used. Now, when an unwanted and harmful substance is mixed with another substance, the resulting mixture no longer remains useful. In such cases, we separate the unwanted ingredients from the mixture. For this purpose, simple and easy methods such as straining, that is filtering, sifting, picking, sorting, winnowing, combing with the magnet and sublimation are used. Now, which ingredients from which mixture should be separated by using these methods? We have learned that properties of the matter and the effects of the heat. Now, these properties are also used for separating the components of the mixture. Now, see here in this figure, we have to find out which methods are used for separating the substances. So here we see here are the some common methods are given for separating the so in the first method 